Hardy turned to her bitches at your boy that had the motherfucking zombie back up in this bitch. And I got a fucking packet in the mail. I made sure to cross out the fucking address so some asshole in the comments was reading the shit out loud. Yeah, I saw that motherfucker. Um, so I had to private the video. So I I'm going to trim the fucking beginning part out because the guy decided to say, huh, huh, Hey, here's your fucking address. Here's part of it. Oh, God, that shit pissed me off. I'm going to re-up that video. This is from MC Snacks, by the way. I got a knife right here, though. Damn, Canada, you don't fuck around with your packaging. Ow. I shanked myself, son. I shanked myself. Not that bad, though. Dude, this shit is really fucking stuck on there. There you go, got it. All right, cool. I got a cut point. What do you do when you see a hole? Stretch it. Oh, yeah, the guy who I keep staring at is a homeboy of mine. He's in the background watching me do this. <laughs> I won't. Uh, I'm not going to say who, but he's a practically call my brother. Ugh, fucking finally. All right. There you go. Now it's working with me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, alright, what do you get? Oh yeah, shout out to MC Snacks by the way. I owe you one more review coming this weekend. I got you. Alright. Oh, fuck yeah. Dude, this album here is a fucking classic to me. He gave me uh, when Robots Talk and Ninjas Rap, my favorite album by him so far. It's a hard copy. Now I got shit to bump on my Xbox. A Pleasant Truth. Good fucking EP. Some of the most positive shit you will ever hear in your life. I know I cuss a lot, but that's just how I express myself and it doesn't bother him any. Want to get a gander at that, homeboy? Ha oh. ha. And he uh, sent me a note, too. I'm just about to read that. He uh, sent me a copy of his first album. I think uh, one of these track titles will look a little familiar to you. <laughs> that album that, here, dude, I love this project. Oh, yeah, here. If you only saw the cover of that. He sent me some... Uh, Alright, this is a long ass note, shall I read it? Make sure it's not personal first. Well, he addresses me by Keegan, but that's been on my channel before, so. Oh, well, go for it. <clears throat> Yo, Keegan, here is a copy of each physical release I've ever put out. As I mentioned when I asked to send this flavor, over the years you have stood out as one of the biggest supporters of the Ninja Funk. By the time you get this healing sounds of the Benevolent Realm Volume 3, We'll be out. I've been bumping it. Um, between you and me, that is going, going to be the last MC Snacks release for a while. Don't worry, everything is okay, and I will never stop making music for good. But recently, the big homie upstairs has been making it clear to me that the time has come to put my focus elsewhere for now. And in lay of moving on to a new chapter in life, I felt inspired to pass these CDs on to you. They were my personal copies from each print run. I figured you could make more use of them than me. I have I've gotten to do a lot of cool things since I've started making tunes. But the coolest of all is hearing from ninjas like you that say my music has had a positive effect on your life. So thank you so much for that. I hope you don't mind if I also add this in. In one of your reviews, 
I remember you saying that even though you respect other other people's faith, uh, you don't personally follow any religion. That is true. Uh, believe it or not, there was a time I wasn't as respectful as you. I hated religion and was very hostile to the concept of God. However, slowly but surely, he began to make himself known to me. And since I started to cooperate with him, my life became a whole lot brighter. I'm telling you this because if there is any way you think it might be possible, please open your heart to him. I promise it's worth it. I'm not sure what your past experiences are with religion. And I know this might sound totally crazy, by, but I just want to use the small influence I have to direct them to the most important thing there is in life, a relationship with the Creator. Anyways, much kind love, homie. Thank you again for all the love and support. I appreciate it more than you know. I hope you see these come close to expressing a portion of the gratitude I feel. Well, I'm not going to lie. That hit me with some feels. Um, yeah, dude. When it comes to you making a positive influence on my life, uh, the first time I bumped your projects was during my last year of high school. I think I told you about this. Make yourself known so people don't think, uh, I'm talking to the figure, just say hi. This is homeboy Gary. I look like a crazy person. Shit, you, you're not the one with the freshly shaved beard. But, um, <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, when it comes to religion, I do respect it. I, I respect it a lot because I never had any uh, personal bad experiences with it myself. But, um, when it comes to religion, religion um again i i don't personally follow it myself but i've got respect for it um and uh dude i didn't know that these were your personal copies man and yes they are gonna get heavy rotation um yeah I'll show you why you see that old fossil right there xbox 360 I could burn CDs and shit on it, so it, it is definitely going to have snacks things on it, but um, yeah dude, uh, hey, you do what you want with your life man, I just wish all the well for you, you know, all the best for you, not the well, but you know what I mean, um, and uh, thank you for, for putting out tunes man, you know, and uh, when I lost my first pet cat, Cora, you know, I was depressed as shit. I was chain smoking bags and all that. And your music kind of helped pull me out of that. That with ICP and other various artists. Um, and your your music has has influenced me a, a lot. I know I say this a lot, but um, your music made me want to. Uh, what's the right word? kind of add to my own style like your stuff inspired me to write more positive shit and it's through songs like uh, heirloom fat kid love just for some ruffles the shire this album here is is a fucking classic to me again I know I keep swearing but dude I I, I always support what's dope that's why I support homies like Cavricon 22 Lord Scum, Juggalo Barber, um, everybody at ITS, you know, that's why I show support to, to them, because I believe that, that, that they are going to be going somewhere with their shit, just like you are, and uh, <laughs> if you're going to take a break for a while, dude, that's fine, as I said before, I wish all the best for you, man, thank you for bringing a positive light into my life, dude, um, now, with that being said, um, your EP is going to be getting reviewed this weekend. Because I've been going through some dumb drama shit recently, and I just need to get my mind off it, man. And Volume 2 helped do that for me. Um, now, if anything, I do want to do a track with you still. And since I got an actual microphone that works good, I'm going to talk to my buddy over in Germany about that. Capricorn 22. Also, he's got a track out. Link down below. But, um, that's all I have to say. And, uh, this here, man. Uh. Dude, I've got to put this in a frame. 
It was deep. It I like was. This. I know, right? Oh yeah, and uh, hey, snacks. I'm also turning someone else onto your music. I think. I, I, I played. Uh, let's get some chicken nuggies. The first song you heard was "Promise." I love that, that song. Which one? Both of them. It's so positive, <laughs> right? And do you see how he's influenced my music, right? Yeah. On some, on some real shit. Um, yeah, dude. I know a lot of those positive tracks are about him smoking food, but it's whatever, dude. You know? Uh, but, but I do have some positive stuff on this next album, and I do want you on a track on this project. And that's some real shit. So, before you stop uh, doing tunes for a while, I, I want to at least do a track with you, man. But with that being said, this video is going on long enough. Shout out to this crazy fucker for also supporting my shit. Oh, uh, man. And I think that's all I got to say. Um, damn, dude. I wouldn't even play those. Those are, like, gonna be awesome. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the only thing I'll probably do is have them uh, put on my 360. That's the most I do with them. Probably my computer, too. Because, dude, these three releases... I mean, when it comes to MC Snacks, he's never d disappointed me. I like the covers. And the discs. They even have, like, stuff on them. Oh, yeah. This one? What does that have on it? That's his face. Oh, dude, you gotta show that. Fuck it. I'm showing... Oh, oh, oh. oh. Thought you was gonna fall. No, no, no. Let me fix this a little bit. So Canada's got a lot of good things, including a good rapper. MC Snacks. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah, dude. And free health care. <laughs> MC Snacks. <laughs> MC Snacks. Fucking mad child. Look at this shit right here. Hell oh, yeah, dude. One of his... One of, probably my third favorite release by him overall. Pleasant Truth. Uh, which one's the one with, like, let's get some chicken nuggies? Oh, that one right there. I like that song. Never been popular with none of the honeys. I relate to guy. that. Huh? I relate to that. I know, right? Time to wrap it up, Keegan. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> um, I issued all the shout-outs I, I, I wanted to. And, again, shout-outs to MC Snacks for sending me this freshness, dude. I really do appreciate it. And shout-out to KyberCon22 for putting me on and Everyone over at ITS, homeboy Gary over here, juggle a barber. Um, who else? Lord Scum. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm out. Thanks for watching. And, uh, peace! I thought that you might need a sanctuary. Cause sometimes this place is scary You need a break from time to time You need a safe haven to ease your mind So rest up, make yourself at home I spent the last 23 years alone In search of materials to build this place And now that it's here, it can't be erased A place as warm or as cold as you need A place where there's no such thing as greed There's no one here trying to sell you stuff You don't want or need just to make a buck this is our life through and through and every wish that you make will always come true as long as you heed my call no evil allowed and that's all And I don't know what strength it's gonna take To keep this place nice and safe But I'll defend it with all my power Every second to my final hour It's my life's work and it's all for you The curse of an artist is hard to chew But it's the only thing I was meant to do Because you need this place and I need it too it's